I'm going to share another Panchatantra story. That is the stories with morals and the five different tricks. So this story is called The Monkey and the Crocodile. Once upon a time, a long time ago, there lived a monkey on a jamun tree. Jamun is something like a blackberry. And the monkey had a kind of a fun time jumping from branch to branch and eating the very sweet jamun fruits and he was having fun every day. And then one day he saw a crocodile swim up to the bank of the river where the tree was. And the crocodile saw the monkey and the monkey saw the crocodile and the monkey said, oh, you have come near my tree. So you are my guest. Here, I will throw you some jamun fruits, these sweet blackberries, and you can eat them and enjoy them. And the crocodile was surprised and he was also feeling wonderful that there's a friend there up on the tree. The monkey threw the jamun fruits and the crocodile's mouth opened fully and he ate them and he, oh, these fruits are so wonderful, so tasty. And then every day the crocodile started coming near the tree and will wait for the monkey to throw some um, jamun fruits and he would enjoy them. And then one day he decided to take some fruits to his wife, the crocodile's wife. And he took them to his wife and the wife tasted the crocodiles, uh, the jamun fruits and said, oh, how tasty these fruits are. Oh, they are truly, truly wonderful. I wonder if the monkey eats these fruits every day, how sweet his heart should be. Do me a favor, my dear, go get that monkey's heart. What? What did you say? The crocodile, oh, please get me the monkey's heart. I want to eat his heart because these fruits are so tasty and his heart would be even tastier. And the crocodile's husband didn't know what to say. No, I can't do that. That would be cheating and being cruel to my friend. And the crocodile's wife started crying and didn't want to speak. And then the next few days she refused to eat. And then the crocodile said, what, what is happening to you, to his wife? He said, I'm so sad. You're not getting me the heart and I'm getting sick and I'm not going to eat anything until you get me the crocodile, the, the monkey's heart. And then the crocodile's husband didn't know what to do. So he said, okay, I have to save my wife. And he came up with a plan. So he swam to the trees, to near the tree where the monkey lived. And then he said to the monkey, monkey, please come with me. I have been giving these fruits to my wife and she really loves these fruits and she wants to meet you. I told her about our friendship. She wants to meet you. She has invited you for dinner today. Please come. The monkey said, how can I come? I can't swim. Oh, that is no problem, said the crocodile. Just jump on my back and I will take you to my house. And then the monkey believed the crocodile and jumped on the crocodile's back and they started swimming. The crocodile started swimming and the monkey was on the back. And then halfway through, they were getting into deeper and deeper and deeper water. Ah, the monkey was getting scared. Hey, what are you doing? You're going so much deep into the water. I'm worried. I'm going to, I'm going to drown. And then the crocodile said, my dear friend, I didn't tell you something and that is, you know, I'm really taking you to my wife because she wants your heart. She wants to eat your heart. That's why I'm taking you. I'm sorry I didn't tell you that before, but you've just been tripped. Oh, the monkey was shocked, but he did not panic. He said, hmm, let me think, what can I do? He quickly thought of a plan. And he said, oh, dear crocodile, it's very nice of you to take me to your home. And it's wonderful that your wife wants to eat my heart. But you know what? 
I left my heart in the hollow of the tree. It's up there. You see, we don't carry the heart with us. It's in the tree. So let's, if you had told me I would have brought the heart with me, let's go back. You take me back to the tree and I will quickly jump up and uh, get that heart and then we can swim back to your place. And then the crocodile said, oh, oh, I didn't know that. The crocodile was kind of foolish didn't realize that we don't keep our hearts outside of our bodies. But anyway, the crocodile swam back and the monkey was in his back. And as soon as they reached the bank of the river, close to the tree where the jamun fruits grew, the monkey jumped off onto the land and he quickly climbed up to the highest branch in the tree and said to the crocodile, crocodile, I trusted you, I thought you were my friend, and you tried to cheat me and kill me. But this is what happens. Go back home and never come back. What do we learn from this story? If we use our intelligence, if we use our wit, that finally wins. Thank you.